today I'm going to be tasting some of the most viral TikTok food hacks. Some of these food hacks look delicious, others not so much. But don't you worry because that's why in today's video I'm going to be tasting them so you don't have to. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. For the first food hack, we're gonna head over to Popeyes and we're going to order some mac and cheese, also some chicken nuggets, sweet heat sauce, and blackened ranch sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chicken nuggets, we're going to cover them in the sweet heat sauce, then we're going to pour them on top of the mac and cheese and we're gonna top it off with the blackened ranch sauce. We're gonna head over to Popeyes and we're going to pick up our food and we're going to try it. A few moments later. So I got everything that I needed. We have the large mac and cheese. Then I got a six count nuggets. So first things first, we're gonna take the sweet heat sauce and we're going to pour it all over the nuggets and we're gonna give it a nice shake. <gasps> wait, I've never actually even tried this sauce. That's good, no wait. I feel like I've tried that sauce before somewhere. There we go. Now we're gonna take some of the nuggets and we're going to put it on top of the mac and cheese. One, two. Okay, now we're gonna pour some of the blackened ranch sauce. Whoa. I have a feeling, I just have a feeling this one's gonna be so good. This is gonna be such a good bite. This is so fire! This is a 9 out of 10. I can definitely see myself ordering this again. For our other two food hacks, they're going to be from Chick-fil-A. You guys already know that I love Chick-fil-A and I always love trying new food hacks. So for this food hack, we're going to need some chicken tenders, also some buffalo sauce and some pure honey. So we're going to mix it here in the box and then we're going to give it a try. I'm going to do a whole packet of honey and then we're going to add the buffalo sauce. <gasps> My mouth watered. I'm gonna get one that has like honey and the buffalo. That's the one we're gonna try. I mean, come on. I mean, don't mind if I go in for a second bite. Mm. This chicken is so freaking tender. Mm. Nine and a half out of 10, easily, without a doubt. For this food hack, we're going to be making kind of like the same thing that we did for Popeyes, except this time is Chick-fil-A edition. So we have the mac and cheese, we have grilled nuggets this time, and then also you're going to need some ranch and also sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. First things first, we're gonna open the grilled nuggets and we're going to pour all of the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce inside. I just have one question. How does everyone come up with these food hacks? I'm gonna put as much sauce as I can. We're gonna take the mac and cheese. We're going to take some of the nuggets and put it on top of the mac and cheese. One, two, three. I'm getting like the juiciest, the ones that have like the most sauce. Now we're gonna take the ranch and let's just pour some of the ranch on top. Here comes my favorite part. Let's try it. That's a good bite right there. I'm not gonna lie, it's good, it's mid, not as good as Popeye's. Popeye's mac and cheese just hits different. I rate this 7 out of 10. So if I had to recommend the Chick-fil-A edition or the Popeye's edition, definitely the Popeye's edition. Alright guys, before we move on to the next food hack, I want to say thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this portion of the video. So if you have never heard of SeatGeek, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. Fun fact, there's more than 70,000 events every single day in SeatGeek. SeatGeek, including concerts, festivals, sports, and more. So I just opened up the SeatGeek app, and you'll notice that it says trending events. They'll always tell you trending events near your city. Like I said, there's sports, concerts, Broadway shows, comedy shows, which by the way, I'm going to a comedy show very soon, and I'm so excited. I'm going to go watch Adam Sandler's, and since I'm attending that event, like you'll click on the event you're interested in, and SeatGeek always wants to make sure you're getting a good deal, so you'll notice there's green and red dots. The green dots means you're getting a good deal, and the red dots means you're getting a bad deal. Also, so every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that allows you to return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. I know there's a lot of artists on tour right now like for example Taylor Swift, Adele, Post Malone. So make sure to download SeatGeek so you can get the best deal on your tickets and you guys already know that I had to hook you guys up. So if you guys use my code MAKEBYPITA you'll get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. Again that is $20 off your first purchase with my code MAKEBYPITA and I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can download the SeatGeek app. And once again, thank you SeatGeek for sponsoring this portion of the video. 
Up next, we're gonna take these hot Cheetos and Funyuns and we're going to season them with this ranch seasoning. So honestly, I feel like with the hot Cheetos, it's gonna be good. The Funyuns, I feel like they're already salty on its own. So I don't know how this is gonna taste, but we're still going to give it a try. We're going to pour some of the ranch seasoning. This is how I saw that they did it on the TikTok. We're going to pour a decent amount in there. Maybe not too much. Okay, I think that should be good enough. Then we're just gonna shake it. Make sure all the Cheetos are coated in the ranch. Now let's do the Funyuns. Let's add a lot of the ranch seasoning. Ooh, I can smell the ranch. I really hope that this is good. If not, I literally just ruined a whole bag of Funyuns and hot Cheetos. But again, that looks fully coated. So that's literally how you want your Cheetos to look. First, let's try the Funyuns. I thought it was gonna be really salty, but surprisingly, it's not. Mmm. I'm gonna rate the Funyuns 7 out of 10. Now let's try the Hot Cheetos. This is gonna be an interesting one because Hot Cheetos are spicy. I don't know how I feel about this one. The spiciness of the hot Cheeto is completely gone. These are a little bit on the salty side. So I'm going to rate these 6 out of 10. Honestly, I would prefer the Funyuns with the ranch seasoning versus the hot Cheetos. Definitely try with the Funyuns with the hot Cheetos. Not so much. For this next food hack, apparently if you take some orange juice and Hershey's strawberry syrup and you mix it together, it's supposed to taste like Skittles. So you already know that I have to give it a try. So we're gonna take some orange juice, not that much. Now we're gonna take some of the Hershey's strawberry syrup. Okay, I think that should be enough. Let's mix it. All right, let's give it a try. Wait, how? Shut up, it literally tastes like Skittles. Dude, you have to try that. That is literally crazy. How does that taste like Skittles? Dude, that does taste like Skittles. Oh my God. Guys, 10 out of 10 for me. I was very skeptical. I was like, I don't think it's gonna taste like Skittles because Skittles has like a specific taste. But no, this legit tastes like Skittles. Nine out of 10 for me. You guys definitely have to try this one out. So we have another drink hack. So apparently the Yoohoo chocolate drink is just the same thing as mixing water with chocolate syrup. So we're gonna taste it and we're gonna see if that is true. Fun fact, I have never tried the Yoohoo chocolate drink. So we're gonna try it right now, but first let's make the drink. Literally all you need is just water and then you mix it with the chocolate syrup. So we're gonna take a decent amount of chocolate. Whoa, that's so much. <laughs> now let's mix it. All right, there we go. So we have our chocolate drink. Now let's shake this and let's give this drink a try. Ooh, this is definitely chocolatey. Does it taste like chocolate milk since that's a chocolate drink? No, because I feel like chocolate milk tastes a little bit more like richer, like a richer flavor. This one, you can definitely taste like the water. It's more like watered down chocolate So does it taste like milk. a chocolate protein shake? Kind of, yes. It's basically like watered down chocolate milk. That's literally what it tastes like. It's not bad though. It's good, but I definitely prefer chocolate milk over this. So now let's try this one and see if it tastes exactly the same. <laughs> Okay, no. Maybe I need a little bit more water. Let's mix it. Now it tastes more like the Yoohoo drink. Does it taste like identically the same? Not identical, but I can definitely see the resemblance of the drinks. The Yoohoo drink, I'm going to rate this a seven out of 10. It's not bad. This drink that I replicated, I'm gonna rate this one a six out of 10. For this next food hack, we're gonna be trying a weird food combination. So we're gonna try saltine crackers with Funfetti icing. I'm gonna mix the sprinkles into the icing. I think that's the only thing that makes Funfetti icing Funfetti, like the sprinkles. Cause other than that, it looks like regular icing. Let's add all the sprinkles and we're going to mix it. Funfetti cupcake mix is honestly the best. It's so good. All right, now that we mix the icing, let's take some of the saltine crackers. These are really salty. So I wonder what it's gonna taste like with the sweetness of the icing. So let's add a decent, oh, snap, it broke. Let's add a decent amount. Matter of fact, let's do a little sandwich. Let's try it. I do not like this. To me, it just tastes like crackers with icing. Like, I thought it was gonna taste different. I thought it was gonna be a better combo. I'm going to rate this right here a two out of 10. 
For the next food hack, we're going to be making a chocolate strawberry covered ice pop with yogurt. So all you need is strawberry yogurt. This is the one that I'm using, Danonino. These are my favorite ones. So all I did is I basically just took one of the strawberry yogurts and then I made a small little opening and I put one of these wooden sticks in the middle, popped it in the freezer overnight and basically you end up with this. I also melted some melting chocolate here. I let it cool down a little bit because I felt like if it was gonna be too hot, it was going to melt the ice pop. So now we're gonna take it out of the packaging. Now we're going to dip it in the chocolate. Make sure we evenly cover it. Make sure you tap off all of the excess of the chocolate. And then we're going to place it in parchment paper and we're going to give it about five minutes to let the chocolate harden. Five minutes later. All right guys, the ice pop is ready. I'm gonna give you guys a little ASMR moment. Do you guys Ooh. hear that? It's gonna be so crunchy. Oh my God. I forgot about my teeth. Oh, I literally bit right into the frozen ice pop. Mmm, <laughs> legit chocolate covered strawberries. That's literally what this tastes like. This is so good. I'm gonna rate this 9.5 out of 10. I'm definitely gonna be making more of these because I really like this. Up next, we're going to be wrapping a mochi with a fruit roll-up. I absolutely love mochi. I can eat this every single day. Mochi alone is really good, but wrapping it with fruit roll-up and putting it in the freezer, I was like, that's very interesting, so I wanna give it a try. I left it overnight, and this is what it looks like. This is definitely going to be a little ASMR moment. So mochis are usually like smushy, right? They're, they're not smushy, it's just soft, like a very soft texture, like you'll literally pull it and it like, you know, it's kind of like a cheese cheese pull type of thing, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. All right, listen up, another ASMR moment. Mm. That sound mm. is so satisfying. Mochi is still really soft with that layer of crunchiness of the fruit roll-up. I also got strawberry flavor. Of course, you can get whatever flavor you want for the mochi and the fruit roll-ups, but I ended up choosing the strawberry with like this blue raspberry. It's so good because the strawberry is sweet and the blue raspberry is kind of like sour. I'm gonna give you guys another ASMR moment. 9 out of 10. So I had to save the best for last. We're going to be creating a chocolate bowl using a balloon. Then you can use that chocolate bowl to put some ice cream, whipped cream, and sprinkles. So all you need is just a balloon. You also need melting chocolate. This is my favorite one. So I already have my chocolate here melted. You wanna make sure that the chocolate is not completely hot because if it's really, really hot, it's going to pop the balloon. Now we're going to blow the balloon. <sighs> Okay, let's measure. Ooh, I think that's a good size. That's perfect. Probably smaller, to be honest. Yeah, right there. I think that's that should a be good. Too small, but okay. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Then we're going to dip it in the chocolate. <gasps> Hopefully it doesn't pop. Mm. Make sure you put it all the way in there. Cover it with a lot of chocolate, and then you lift it up. So when you take out the balloon, want to make sure that you rotate it and then just do this so all of the excess chocolate can just strip down. And then we're gonna do a second coat, so you wanna let it cool down for a couple of seconds. Now I'm just going to place the balloon on top of the parchment paper, and I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for about five minutes. Five minutes later. Okay guys, so I have some whipped cream, sprinkles, and ice cream, because this is what I'm going to put inside of the chocolate bowl. So it's been five minutes. It looks like the chocolate is completely hard now, so I'm going to very carefully make a small hole in the balloon. No! Or that. That works too. <laughs> no. Okay, now very carefully, we're going to remove the balloon from the chocolate. Oh no. I don't think it was supposed to happen like this. I'm scared I'm going to break the chocolate, guys. Okay, we're doing good. Oh, is it going to break? Oh, oh, we did it. There you go. <gasps> this is perfect. Okay, this was definitely the right size. It's not too big or not too small. I'm going to take some vanilla ice cream. And we're going to put it in the chocolate bowl. Ooh. Let's put the whole scoop of ice cream in there. Let's add some whipped cream. Sheesh. And then, of course, some sprinkles. Wow. Chocolate bowl for your ice cream. I wonder if it works for cereal. Probably not, right? No. It'll probably melt right away. Let's try the ice cream with the whipped cream. <laughs> Whoa. 
Game changer. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it didn't even take that long. I just left it in the freezer for five minutes, and that was pretty much it. So I'm going to rate this food hack, guys, 9 out of 10. It's really good, and it's also like a really fun concept. So I'm going to end the video right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you guys come across any life hacks, food hacks, or anything that you guys want me to try out, make sure to tag me on my TikTok at Makeup by Pita. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we